Assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, I'm back here today with a meet Jafrazi video. Um, so we're going to just get into it. In a pan I put in the oil and let it heat up. And to that we'll add the whole dry spices. Give that a quick stir and let it just um, infuse the oil uh, before you add the chopped garlic and ginger. Now what you want to do is just stir this as well and let it brown just slightly until it's golden brown and then to that uh, once it's golden you want to add the onions now we're using less onions today um, only at the base of the curry because it's a jar phrase we'll be adding uh, more onions later on now a lot of people ask why I cut my onions so um, chunky. Uh, to me I find that they melt um, in perfect time with the meat. So by the t time the meat has got tender, the onions have dissolved. And that's kind of an indicator for me that everything's done. Obviously cut the onions to your preference, but um, that's how I've done it. Um, now I've added the meat and then I will give this a quick uh, mix as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Now to that I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. You don't have to add chopped tomatoes, that's optional as well. I add it because I think it imparts a lovely red colour to the curry which I like. And I'm going to add some chopped coriander to that as well. And then you just want to add the salt. Now the salt helps to break down the onions. Um, so I find that it is important that you add it. Uh, when the onions are softening to help them along and then you just want to give that a good stir uh, before you cover with the lid and then leave it to cook for about 45 minutes the longer you cook it the more tender it will be so after giving that a good mix I will cover and let that cook for 45 minutes after about 45 minutes as you can see the onions have dissolved um, and the oil has released so what you want to do then is just add all of the spices I add this combination of spices because um, again to me this is obviously my curry so I will um, adjust it to how I like it to taste um, I like the spices in it um, I do add two chili powders but one imparts a lovely red color and the other one is for heat so um, I divide what I would normally add of the chilli powder into two so it's actually not that spicy but give that a good mix and then you just want to let that cook as well um, for about 10-15 minutes now what I've done is I've just moved the pan over um, and then put on a non-stick pan um, to the meat I will be adding a bit of water you want to add water intermittently anyway when you can see that the meat and onions are sticking to the bottom of the pan you always want to add just a splash of water to the non-stick pan I've added some oil and then I'm going to put in the onions and the gel um, and the gel <laughs> um, and the peppers and then what I'm going to do is on a high heat I'm going to stir fry that for a few minutes I just want to get um, the onions and the peppers slightly soft but also I want to get a slight char on them I think that char adds an extra flavour so just keep stirring that on a high heat there you are, I'm trying to be your chefy <laughs> um, but leave that for about a couple of minutes and then as you can see you get a nice like golden char and I really like that So once that's done, what I will be doing is adding that to the meat. Um, the meat has been cooking on low for about 15 minutes now. Um, but that's fine. Meat, as the longer you cook it, the tender it will get. It won't get tough. And my husband, unfortunately, he can't eat tough meat. So I have to soften it for a really long time. So once the peppers and the onions are done, what you want to do is you want to pour all of that into the pan with the meat and then mix it together. I 
I've I've just used a splash of oil to fry the onions and capsicum. Um, but if you do it in um, a deeper amount of oil, then um, you just scoop out the veg, leave that oil and use it in another dish. It becomes really, really flavourful. So you can use it in any other dish that you cook. Uh, obviously, because it's vegetables, um, you can cook whatever you want in it. And it just gives off a really, really nice flavour because of the peppers and the onions. So mix everything really, really well now. Um, now adding the sauce to this uh, is a bit of a difficult one. Uh, I do like my curries normally quite saucy, um, but the Jalfrezi obviously is drier than most home curries, if you will. Um, so I will add a bit of sauce to it, but not too much because you don't actually want to dissolve the capsicum and the onions that you've added as well. You want to, them to remain whole um, so you get that bite. Um, so that's why I've added probably about um, three quarters of the mixture in the pan. Um, three quarters of water. So it doesn't come all the way to the top of the meat. It comes to about three quarters of the way. But I will let that cook for another uh, 15, 20 minutes I think. And then what I will do is just complete that. Um, and then I will finish it off by garnishing it with more coriander i love my coriander and also um bullet chilies bullet chilies are optional um i added them because they made my photos look good <laughs> um but they don't really give off any flavor to be quite honest so um it's just for looking good and presentation really but yeah just stir the coriander in and then serve um you can obviously have this with whatever you like uh, chapatis, naans we obviously have it with rice um, but yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this recipe please keep watching and sharing and subscribe, share with all your friends and any requests please leave in the comments below thank you, bye